So this video is about uh, Shade Rx. It's the uh, second time I saw him on skate and it was in uh, 1995. First time I saw him was at the World Championship in 94 in Guillaume Mestras in France. And he was really uh, changing the technique for skating with his uh, double push technique. And uh, in those days we were not traveling so much and we didn't add internet and things like this to uh, see the skater. So the second time I could uh, see Shad was uh, during a trip for the brand uh, Kryptonic. We were a group of uh, French skaters and we were going in USA uh, with Arnaud Jiquel, Benjamin Roisel, Johan Landenberg under the, um, the cover from uh, Christophe Oloir. And we had a team and we make a stop uh, at the National Championship Indoor in USA. I cannot remember in which city it was, but then we could see the, uh, this championship indoor and for us in those time it was like something very big because all the Americans were the best skater in the world so we were uh, watching this uh, carefully and we could see skaters like Sheldon Ricks actually uh, in this race uh, with really special technique we don't see so much uh, the double push in the in this video because it's just indoor but already we can feel that in the corner you have a special grip you have a special feeling with the ground and a really an amazing technique so that was really cool to see uh, this championship. Also, uh, we can see how he was uh, dominating uh, the sport. I'm not sure he was senior yet uh, in the US uh, competition there, but he was uh, already uh, one of the best uh, in almost every distance. In this championship, we could see also some other uh, stars from the sport, like uh, Derek Parra, for example, which was uh, he was skating for Rollerblade. He's actually in a second position uh, on the in this pack. Uh, it looks like it's kind of a thousand meter race or something like this. I didn't count uh, how many laps, but I think in US one lap is about 100 meters, and they make the corners also with four cones indoor. Uh, like in France, but just the lap is much bigger, it's more grippy compared to uh, European indoor uh, uh, races. So in this race you can see uh, Derek Parra, he was uh, also a world championship in uh, 94 the year before and he won actually the marathon at least and some other races that I don't remember at the moment, but uh, he was uh, for me in those days also the one of the best skaters in the world, like super smooth technique, super good agility and uh, a uh, very perfectionist skater uh, already. So this is one of his race also in the in the Ocean Championship. One more race uh, from Shad, he's still racing, I think it was like a ultimate skin suit, uh, which was a brand for wheel skate and frame in those days. And here he's racing a relay, uh, Shad is in second position at the moment, third position now, and he's racing a relay and we have also some other legend in the race, like I think it's the black skin suit uh, was a Dante Muse. 
uh, and maybe the Mills brother also uh, from some other guy from the family was also in this race. But really amazing to see all this. Uh, was the best skater in the world in those days. They were skating for Hyper, they were skating for Rollerblade, or for their club at National Level. Uh, I'm not sure actually. It's not a, maybe. It's maybe not a skin shoot from Multivate. It looks also maybe a skin shoot from Texas, or maybe it was the club uh, of Shad in those days with the blue and red. So it's still amazing technique. I let you watch this. So yeah, like I said, you had a lot of legend uh, from those days in, uh, in this race. Shadow the Rake, uh, I think Dante Muse, maybe Tony Muse, but I'm not sure. And uh, some of the best of the best American skater also in this relay. Uh, really cool the way they make the relay indoor. And we had a few races also uh, in France where we do relay like this. So it's good. Uh, it would be really cool actually if one day we have a world championship indoor in. Uh, in um, similar condition or like is it in US when it's if it would be done in US and similar to the Europe uh, configuration when it would be done in Europe but uh, World Indoor Championship really would be really cool for the sport actually next race is a bit uh, special it's uh, it's uh, I think it's a no, it's another relay but I think they do also a mixed relay so it's uh, it's quite uh, amazing and yeah, it's really nice to see uh, also this relay. They do actually a lot of relay in that championship. There is tons of race, uh, maybe too much because we uh, we get lost at the end and all the races are very similar uh, all day long. I remember the, the day was super long. We had to get up super early to watch the race and it finished quite late, but uh, it's, a, it's a really nice show. Oh, 
Also, the very cool uh, point about the races is that they, they are still doing, they were still doing actually a championship indoor uh, with squad at the same time as they were doing on inline. So it was still the years where we were in transition for the sport. Uh, just for memory, in 92 was a year where we switched between uh, quad skate and inline. And in 94 in US, they were still doing the indoor championship, national championship, some racing quad, some racing inline. So, uh, that was really cool uh, for the sport, I think. So I let you watch a few more uh, video, a few more races uh, with uh, Shadow Drake. Thank <laughs> you.